Is this working? Yeah, it's totally working. Good morning. We just woke up after a incredible night of Cards Against Humanity. We didn't tape any of it, but if I did, it all had to be edited out anyways, so. Yeah, because uh, it was a little rapey. It was incredible fun. It was a, it was a lot rapey. It was, it was really rapey. Would be. Anyways, we overslept. Uh, we missed breakfast, we think. We're gonna go downstairs and hope that uh, there may be some scraps. We totally miss breakfast. We totally miss breakfast. Hopefully there's coffee. Coffee. Shitty coffee. Shitty. But coffee. The concert last night was amazing. Rammstein totally killed it with their theatrics. There's bananas. Close enough. Uh, Rammstein killed it last night. It was absolutely phenomenal. Like, they, they did what, uh, to quote Mitch, they did five times in the first like five songs what every band in America does for their final song they were spitting flames from their faces it was a great show yesterday and today we are going to get there late because we're going to go Chicago downtown mess around in Chicago and hopefully eat a real pizza and get some real Chicago pizza I've been messaging my buddy that lives here in Chicago who I used to work with in Jacksonville and he recommends this place I think I'm pronouncing it right Piquads it looks like Piquads 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 Picards it could be like a really weird pronunciation of Picard like Piquads Captain Picard anyways he super recommends it we uh, are gonna spend the morning taking pictures of downtown after we eat real Chicago pizza apparently this place has national recognition and yep. it was like on the food network something so we're gonna go there and eat a badass pizza and then walk all the calories off while taking pictures of like <laughs> Trump Bad. Trump Tower and oh here we go whatever whatever that is over there giant buildings glass steel and video footage is gonna be really hard to watch and make people sick Oh, we made it. We got a seat. Uh, apparently, the 15 minutes it took us to get here was enough for them to get really full. So now we have to wait for a seat. But uh, we're super stoked. We went in there to use the bathroom, and the pizza looks amazing. Have you eaten here before? I have in the one in the suburbs, not here. Okay, do you like Picard's? Yeah. My dad took me for the first time, like, last year. Anything to recommend? I got the pepperoni, but my friend got the pasta last time. She said that's good too, actually. If you were here for one day, what would you recommend we do? Have you been downtown and done all like the touristy stuff? No. Really? You haven't gone to like the we, beach? We're here like, for the concert, are? but today's concert lineup kind of sucks. Chicago Air Fest. Yeah. So we decided to take some time off and wait for a break. If you go downtown and do all the touristy stuff, I mean, you could do that. Like the bean and seeing all the. They told stuff you, you gotta go see the bean. I got shit, but I really went to the bean. What the hell? I don't even know what the bean is. It's a big, giant chrome bean. This is happening. At one of the best pizza places in America, these are the prices of their stuff. Extremely reasonable. This looks amazing. I cannot wait to shove this in my face. 45 minute wait for pizza. Literally all of us are playing Pokemon Go. One guy's in the bathroom playing Pokemon Go and the other one walked downstairs to smoke. Where's the lure module? Pizza's here. Yes. Yeah, just like yes. a whole thing. Can I wait for you to reach out this dude? Reach out all of that. This is happening. God, how heavy is that pizza? It's a good, good, good amount of weight. Is there any pizza in there, or is that just like all meat? Heavy cheese. Dude, like no shit, that looks like just a slab of roast beef thrown on there. <laughs> I 
That's insane. That was literally the best pizza I have ever eaten in my life. And I kind of want to just crawl up into a ball and go into a coma now. But they are adamant about going seeing this fucking weird magical bean. Apparently if R.L. Stein and Stephen King had a love child, it would be this magical bean fun house of craziness. So I don't know if we're going to climb a beanstalk or whatever. Apparently that's where we're going next. We asked some people, we walked the exact opposite direction of the bean, but we did find parking eventually. Check this out. They have putt-putt in this giant park downtown. This is so cool. And we're about to walk over this like super sweet bridge. What's the name of this park? Uh, Maggie Daly. Maggie. Close. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> okay. Maggie Daly or Millennial or something that starts with the letter it M. Definitely starts with an M. I've seen more people in shape in this city than anywhere else I've ever been. Because everyone's riding bikes or walking because, well, traffic sucks. So I guess there's a legit reason for it. What? Dude, agreed. What do you say? I bet it's really hot. Do it. No balls. No balls. Finally caught up to us. We're they're, going. they're on the other side of the road. Go around and cross the bridge, it's pretty cool. adventure so many people also found the bean save the day whatever shut up don't ruin my mom <laughs> i feel like i don't have to travel the world to discover that there's assholes everywhere yes but just in case that's <laughs> trump tower if you were curious this is probably home of the biggest asshole on the planet there's no wall, yeah, there's, there's no wall yet i'm sure he's working on it we feel really rushed we're trying to like take some really cool pictures because the architecture downtown chicago is fabulous Yep. But we have like two hours downtown and we're like super, super rushed and we spent way too much time at that crazy chrome bean. Yeah, it was cool though, but trying to find it, we probably wasted more time than how much time we spent there. Every five seconds, I swear, there's an accident or at least an accident about to happen. It feels that way. We're walking downtown and found some random people who wanted us to help and we organized the entire crew to help their son propose to his girlfriend. They've got this giant sign that says, will you marry me? And they're coming down the river in a pontoon boat shortly. So we're, this is the mother. 
<laughs> she said yes! Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know where they went, but she said yes. <laughs> We decided to bail out on the concert for today. Uh, we let Mitch and Steve go ahead and head to the concert just so we can spend more time in downtown Chicago. It's so beautiful and there's so many things just to see. It's just gorgeous and so many things we got to experience. And I'm not even mad, like, I, I don't care that I missed the concert. This is just so much fun. We found the beach. It's that way by the pier. Which apparently there are fireworks going off tonight to commemorate the year anniversary of something. We're just gonna hang out downtown until the fireworks happen and then we're just gonna Uber it. I, I don't know. We're on a whim, just taking it wherever the hell our feet lead us. John and I officially walked about 15 miles today. We narrowly missed the fireworks. We got there like as the last firework went up. Uh, we found some pretty cool stuff, some groovy music, and our bodies just literally gave out. So we're now Ubering back to the hotel where there is beer and pizza. Hopefully we can get it. How do you move so much when you sleep? <laughs> like, I don't think anyone's gonna believe this. They're gonna think that's fake. It looks like, it looks like a weird animatronic. <laughs> right? Oh, there's his face. 